Hey everyone, I'm Emily Lonslager. I'm the youth director over at First Baptist Church, and I'm here to do your Friday devotional. Uh, as I was praying about this and trying to decide what to talk about today, I really felt called to the story of Jonah. And for those of you who may have forgotten or have never heard the story before, uh, Jonah was a prophet, uh, a man who told people about what God was trying to say and communicate to them. And God had sent Jonah to the city of Nineveh. And he sent them to this city because they were real bad. They were doing all sorts of things that God disapproved of. And Jonah was supposed to go and tell them to knock it off. Uh, but Jonah was super scared and not only disobeyed God, but he ran in the opposite direction of where God had called him and hopped on a boat so he could get far, as far away from Nineveh as he could. And so while on the boat, a big storm comes and the men on the boat realize like somebody did something bad and they need to own up for it. And so Jonah steps up and says, you know, it was me. I disobeyed God and you need to throw me overboard. And so they throw Jonah overboard, the storm calms, and while he's in the water, a big fish comes up and swallows him. So that's the most popular part is Jonah spends three days and three nights in the belly of a fish. So maybe wondering why I'm talking about that. <laughs> uh, and I was just really struck by how normally we can really relate to Jonah being disobedient to God and running away. We, we've done that all the time, right, as humans. Uh, but I think in this unique time of quarantine, we may actually be able to empathize with how Jonah was feeling in the belly of the fish. Uh, you know, he was super isolated he, and he was stuck. Some of us are feeling really stuck inside our houses. We may be feeling isolated if we don't live with anybody or maybe only live with one person. Uh, some of you are wishing for isolation uh, from your kiddos and stuff, but you know, we all are feeling kind of isolated from the rest of the world and from uh, the things that we normally get to do. And so I was like, wow, that's really unique that we get to experience a little bit of what Jonah's feeling. I was also thinking, well, if you're getting behind on your laundry and your dishes, uh, your house may be getting a little smelly, hopefully not as smelly as the belly of a fish. Um, but ultimately, I think what we have in common with Jonah is this incredible amount of time to spend with God. We don't have schedules, we don't have activities, we don't have as much work, and we are we just have a lot more free time and you know are we spending that time with God and that's what Jonah chooses to do and uh, I'm really encouraged by that because maybe some of us would have been throwing a fit or flipping out or, or crying or so many possible reactions but uh, in this moment where Jonah is in this belly of a fish he turns to God and he says this prayer so if you have your Bibles and you want to turn to Jonah chapter 2 that's where I'm gonna read from this morning uh, so let's hear Jonah's prayer. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from inside the fish. He said, I cried out to the Lord in my, in my great trouble, and he answered me. I called to you from the land of the dead, and Lord, you heard me. You threw me into the ocean depths, and I sank down to the heart of the sea. The mighty waters engulfed me. I was buried beneath your wild and stormy waves. Then I said, O oh Lord, you have driven me from your presence, yet I will look once more toward your holy temple. I sank beneath the waves and the waters closed over me. Seaweed wrapped itself around my head. I sank down to the very roots of the mountains. I was imprisoned in the earth whose gates lock shut forever. But you, O Lord my God, snatched me from the jaws of death. As my life was slipping away, I remembered the Lord and my earnest prayer went out to you in your holy temple. Those who worship false gods turn their backs on all God's mercies, but I will offer sacrifices to you with songs of praise and I will fulfill all my vows. For my salvation comes from the Lord alone. Then the Lord ordered the fish to spit out Jonah back onto the beach. So instead of throwing a temper tantrum, Jonah praises and thanks God for what he has done, for sparing his life, for keeping him safe, for hearing his prayer. And I just thought, what if that was our attitude during this? What if we had prayers of thankfulness and prayers of praise to what God is doing during this time and what he has given instead of what he's taken away. And I don't want to dumb down what people have lost and uh, what people are struggling through. Absolutely feel that. I encourage you to, to take time to be sad and to grieve the losses that we've experienced through all this. But I also encourage you not to stay there because God is moving. God is doing uh, amazing things during this time and his name is being praised. And so I really want to encourage you to take some time with your family today uh, and make a list 
make a, a list of all the things to be thankful for and to be praising God for. Uh, and I'd also invite you to put them in the comments below so that we can be encouraged as a church family because we have to stick together. We have to keep pointing each other to Jesus during this time because we're, we're not going to make it if we don't. So I encourage you to, to make that list, to comment on it, and uh, just to give you insight into my world and what, I, what was on my list. I'm really thankful that God has given me this time to rest. Uh, I'm thankful as just a ministry worker, it's, it's exhausting. And so I'm really thankful for a time to rest. I'm thankful for my friends and my family who are in the healthcare community that are safe and healthy for the moment. And uh, I am thankful for my job where I still get to serve people and I still get to do ministry. Even though it's a little different right now, I, I appreciate that I still get to work. So I uh, can't wait to see your list. Thanks for joining me today. Bye.